I've had this puzzle sitting on my shelf for quite a long time and I think it is finally time to have a go at solving the space box. The rescue of humanity is so close. This is a puzzle from Eskvelt called Space Box. Uh, it's supposed to take about an hour to solve for ages 14 and up. Oh, and the goal is to save the Boo Boo Mummy. So, let's have a look. Hi, I'm Boo Boo, so this is the person we're trying to rescue, I guess. Space box. Oh, on the last page you'll find helpful clues, so we'll put that aside. Okay, I'm going to start a timer. Uh, let's see how we go. Let's have a look at the side. So this one we have a sort of uh, a rectangular shape with an arrow on it, and some panels and bits and pieces. This one, wow. I think these don't turn. I think these are just cosmetic or informational, but I'm going to guess that will turn at some point. Here we have a grid of five by five letters. This feels familiar somehow. Here we have, ooh, okay, these just slid out on the gravity. These have various of these sort of um, astrological symbols. I guess that's what they are. And this one's identical to that one. It's interesting. Oh, right, so that means we're going to have to set these at two particular positions in order to open something. We have the numbers 1 to 9 there. We have this, oh, which comes out completely. Okay. Let's remember, oh, is that meant to come out completely? Okay, well that just came out and I just put it back in again. Maybe that was a mistake. Uh, these don't, oh, they, oh yeah, those pull out, but they have numbers on 46, 79, 12, 69. This doesn't move, but I guess it will move. Oh yeah. Okay, so now these are stuck. Oops, oh, they're going in and out. Okay, so these 2467 and 1379, some sort of relationship to those numbers. Oh yeah, this has come out again. Let's take that out. All right, there's something moving around inside there. I can hear a, or is it just these? No, I think there's something else. Yeah, there's some ball bearings in there, I think at least. And this is also interesting because, oh, yeah, in there I can see something that looks like this might fit into it and like it might turn. This feels like it might be a key. Oh yeah, okay, that was easy. Was that easier than it was meant to be? This looks like it's meant to be a slightly complex mechanism, but maybe not. Okay, no, I guess that's just a, a little lock. That's nice. Anyway, inside there we have this. And this is Esk, which is the company that makes the puzzle, and then O-L-M-Z-U-X. And I guess there's a bunch of places that could go. Oh, we also have this. I don't quite know what to make of those. Ooh. Yeah. Was that bad? <laughs> I can push all these in. But the problem is... If they'll come back again. Oh, I see. So these just come out the other side here. Huh, interesting. This one just comes in and out a little bit. Wow, this one has a lot of moving pieces. Oh, and there's a big uh, slot here. There's something to go into. This still doesn't turn. It doesn't go into those. This is eventually going to slide away, but not until this has come out. That might be the end, I wonder. But it could be that these, being in the right positions, will allow this to come out. How will we know where to set these two? Oh, right, so yeah, this is triangles, this is circles, this is hexagons, and this is squares. You can see that, so we have little hexagons on there, we have squares on there, we have triangles on there, and we have circles on there. Oh, and that's a circle, and that's a triangle. Okay, so the shapes match, yeah, a hexagon square. Mm. So 
I'm pretty sure we're going to set these so that a particular symbol is, is just showing. I'm guessing that's how it'll work. And once we've got all four of these set in the right place, maybe that will let this come out. Maybe. Or maybe it'll let this move, or who knows. This will be every letter except one, presumably. I wonder which letter isn't on here. Let's see. A, B, M, N, O. Oh, it's P. P is missing. Oh, I'm not sure I've looked at this side yet. Oh, this does turn. Did that turn before? So this, which, oh, this comes out, <laughs> and there's a mirror in there. I just noticed there's a keyhole shaped thing there. Is that what this goes in, maybe then? No. No, no I don't think so. Okay, so this is one of those puzzles where there's just so many things to do, so many things to look at. It's hard to know where to start. That's interesting. I don't know if I've just been silly, but these are stuck now. They used to come out. I'm pretty sure this is stuck out. Is that right? Oh no. So there's always the thing with these wooden puzzles. There's a sort of uh, precision needed in manufacturing them to avoid accidental behaviours. I think that was an accidental behaviour. But are these really stuck? Oh, now they come out, are they? Hmm, okay. I don't know if that was real or imaginary, but it felt like these were stuck. And that one's kind of stuck now. I don't know quite what to make of this. So it's like you start here, and then this is two with a right hand arrow, this is two with a down arrow, and this is three with a left arrow. Mm, I sort of feel them interacting with something else. Oh, right, I just had a thought. So if this has to be set to one, two, six, nine, one, two, six, nine is this shape, one, two across there and two down there. And that would correspond, I think, to this one. Okay, so then we would set this to there, effectively, probably. This one's four, six, seven, nine, which is, duh, 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 no, wait, four, six, seven, nine, yeah. So that's this one, I think. So that's the sort of triple trident thing, like, that and then we have two four six seven two four six seven is that shape uh, and that should oops hang on <laughs> so two four six seven two four six seven uh, it's like that but the other way around yeah it's this one okay it's the circle with a cross in it so that's the very beginning and then the last one is 1379. 1379 is the four dots around the corners, which is this one, like a, a lowercase h or something. Uh, wait, there's two that are very similar to each other. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's kind of promising, isn't it? I'm gonna go there. Okay, so these are all now set to where I think they need to be set. The other possibility is I've got it so that the symbol in question is sticking out. It could be that the symbol in question should be the first one hidden. Now turn. Oh, I think it does. Is that? Wait, I can't remember how much it turned before, but I don't think it was this much. I think it's going to release this. That's my guess. Getting these to the right place is going to release this. Oh, yeah, look, this is definitely interacting here. 
if I, if I hold this lever up a little bit, then these don't move. This one doesn't move. If I release it, it does move. So that tells me this is this is right, but these are going to release this switch. Okay, let's try and be a bit more systematic about this. So we have one, two, six, nine. Okay, so one, two, six, nine, you can see from here is dot, 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 like that. Okay, four, six, seven, nine is dot, 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 dot. Two, four, six, seven is dot, 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 dot. And then one, three, seven, nine is the four corners. Okay, now if we look on here, that dot, 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 dot is definitely this one. Uh, this one, I didn't draw them very clearly, but that's definitely this one. This one is this one, right? And then the last one is definitely that one. Let's just make sure I'm setting them in the right place. Okay, so one, two, six, nine. No, two, four, six, seven is the cross in a circle. Uh, 1379 is that little H thing, so those are probably right. Now 1269 is here, and that wants to be the whatever that is, male symbol. So that's there. And then the last one's 4609, which is the sort of trident, Neptune's tridenty thing, which is there. So they're all. Like, Sure, they're all in. No, it seems like the right place. Oh, there we go. Oh, it moved. Okay, it was just they needed to be in absolutely precisely the right place for this lever to go up. Now what does that do? It's going to have released something. No, <laughs> nothing's changed. Oh, interestingly, these will still move. In fact, they're completely free now. Oh, they come out. Ooh, wow. It's going to need to be a way of remembering which one goes where, isn't there? Oh well. Now this comes off. Aha! Wow. Okay. Putting this back together is going to be interesting. All right. So what do we have? We have a, a maze on here, and I guess you're starting here. You're doing this, and you're ending up there. And there's a symbol in there. Oh, and this comes out as well. Okay. This is now totally free to move, of course, because those have come out. This can now turn a bit. No, I think that's probably what it always did. I think. That comes out a bit, but not all the way. Oh, and there's even a circle there, like that. I feel like this maze is going to relate somehow to these lines. Is that right? It's not obvious how. Oh, I didn't say S before. So 
So this can, this has got a letter in it, or it's in the alphabet or something, and it can move, but I don't know if that's intended. things as well. So my guess is we're going to push them in a distance that reveals a certain letter on here and that somehow that's going to re relate to this maybe? And, and I don't know what this is for, <laughs> it's just sort of popped out. Presumably that's intended, but is it? Put it somewhere else. Maybe, but maybe not yet. <gasps> Is this telling me what to do with a ball bearing that's in there? Is that possible? Could be true. It could be that there's a ball bearing inside here that's in a maze that this represents, and I have to figure out where in the maze the ball bearing is. So at the moment, a ball can roll left to right, and once it's at the right, it can't go anywhere else. When it's at the left, it can't go anywhere else. It's saying T now. Oh, and then A R T. Oh, that says start. <laughs> I don't know if this is the intended way to do this, but as you sort of tap and shake, this rotates around to give various letters. So it says start. Is that all it says? Yep, I think it finishes at start. Okay, so this is start for some reason. Okay, I'm a little over half an hour in. I haven't used the mirror yet. And I haven't used this yet. Actually, I haven't used any of these things. <laughs> but the mirror. This is Eskvelt, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. Stylized. So I feel like we've used this up, so we probably don't need to worry about that anymore. This dial, though. Ooh. That was interesting because when it goes to the left, it kind of tightens and then stops. And when it goes to the right, it doesn't tighten; it just hits a, just hits something. I don't know if we can figure out what it's hitting. Oh, <laughs> oh! Now I feel silly. Right. So this is actually turning these letters. Okay. So start. Can you see that? S T A R T and then it does go further. Start with X and then what? Does that mean you start here with X? Or you start here with X? I mean so if I pushed this to the X position like that. It's actually that's actually as far as it will go anyway. Oops. But then what? So I'll push that to the X position. Okay, I think these are going to release this. I think so. Start with X. But then it doesn't tell me what to do next, does it? No. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I've suddenly realized what you have to do. Okay, so. We start with X, then we go two to the right, then two down, then three to the left, right. So two to the right of X is W. Oh dear, there is no W on here. So if I, if I assume we start this one on X, then you would go X, W, K, S by going two across to the right, two down and three left, but that doesn't work because we don't have those letters on here. If I wanted to get to a place where these movements would give me letters on here, then I'd have to start with M, I think. Because I'd go M, Z, L, U. 
I don't know why I'm starting with M instead of X, but let's try it. So M Z L U. So we're gonna go M Z L U. So I don't understand why I started with M, <laughs> but otherwise that made sense. Now that moves and comes off. And I think we might be done. Is that it? There we go. Well, is this Boo Boo the Mummy? It looks like an astronaut. Oh, and it comes with, he comes in a little stand. Oh, isn't that cute? So I think that's the end of the puzzle. I think that's solved. I took um, 37 minutes, a bit less than the stated hour. Oh, but we still have a ball bearing. What's the point of that? Okay, I don't think we're finished. We've got the astronaut. Okay, so it turns out this was the final step. This is Boo Boo, he's uh, an astronaut, and this was his spaceship. Um, the reason that I didn't need to use the mirror and the reason that I didn't need to use the ball bearing is that various things happened that weren't supposed to happen. So this shouldn't have opened up uh, when it did until um, some action was taken. I'm not sure what it was. Something else was supposed to, the, the ball bearing was supposed to release this basically. Um, and there were one or two other things that happened that shouldn't have happened. Um, and the mirror was somehow supposed to tell you to start with M instead of X. Um, but I don't really understand how. Okay, uh, this is something ingenious, which I'm not gonna be able to show you, I think, but if you put the mirror in there, that way round, and then you press your eye up against this keyhole, in the mirror you can see writing that says M equals X. So that's really ingenious. So that's how you're meant to figure out that when it says start with X, you're actually meant to start with M. I kind of reverse engineered it because it was just obviously the only way to get the letters that I needed. So if this key had had more letters on, I wouldn't have been able to do that. But because it had so few letters, there was no other possibility. Um, so there we are. So that is Eskvalt's space box. I think it's a really clever puzzle. I think it has some really unique features and really interesting um, solving aspects to it. I think there's always a problem with these wooden box puzzles. So there's two things. One is uh, with things like these, you have to get them really, really precise. And that means you think you haven't solved it when in fact you've got exactly the right position. You just have to have them microscopically closer to the right place um, to get them out. And then the other is the opposite, where unfortunately, I, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but a few things came out when they shouldn't have come out. So I'm not sure what this was about. So yes, I, I ended up getting the solution. I think quite a few of the steps I followed correctly, but there were various steps that I just got lucky with, unfortunately. Um, so there we go. I think it's a really nice puzzle. Um, I think perhaps the quality of the wood itself uh, doesn't quite make it possible for a puzzle like this to work. Maybe it was a bit of an overstretch. Uh, this ball bearing thing, I still don't really understand how that's supposed to work. But there we go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you did uh, and you'd like to see uh, me solving other similar puzzle boxes, have a look here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.